Hello there, this is Cookies, and I've got turn 114 of EA Vanheim. Now, there's a few fights in here. I don't think any of them were super important, and I just wanted to re come back and re-record this one because it didn't have the, the best audio, and it was also kind of long for what it was. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Transmuted Fire, got some gold, got some Death Gems. Lost a vampire, which really sucks, um, especially given how reduced our blood eco is. Cast Gift of Reason on a Tartarian, so we can go ahead and check that out. Um, I think it was this one, this Fire Blood one. So we stacked it with MR gear, and we're going to start moving it up here. The plan is to use this one to forge soul contracts, and we're going to put those soul contracts on uh, golems, uh, and I, at golems at this point because I was concerned about Armageddon still, and a golem is a pretty tough chassis, and but it's also mindless, and at the time I wasn't completely sure, but I was pretty sure that a mindless commander would not get horror marked. And so I could get an infinite supply of free devils, and this game did seem like it was going to go a lot longer. So, and I felt safe enough to make that kind of investment into soul contracts, especially given my reduced blood eco. I wanted a way to kind of continue to project uh, blood, like power, over the long haul, even if I didn't have population to really blood hunt, because I don't have growth scales. I don't have a growth throne, so every province I hunt down where that gets Armageddon is just something that's never going to recover, so we can see how many wastelands that I've got. All right. So anyways, that's the plan for that tart. Uh, we also did another Raven Feast, a Blood Fecundity on... Uh, Roos, because it's one of our few places left with population, so this is where our little bit of gold income is going to come from. And we also threw out a Wizard's Tower. Let's see, oh, to cover these gems, and now we can get these Dust Walkers, which are a pretty good unit. Also, we threw out this, so we figured out this throne. It's the throne of the first age, so it's an MR throne. It has a wall of pestilence and a pool of sanctity, which is kind of cool. But that's the coastal throne there. Additionally, there was a small number of fights. There was this. There was this. Uh, the horror harmonica golem showed up, killed two things, and got bounced, as it does. Um, in Alluvia, the Basalt King came in and thugged, some, thugged that small Yomi force, and it's just rocking double frost brands and a pretty basic kit with a little bit of MR help. And then, yeah, another Yomi raiding force. Also, we got some gold, a Bane Blade. We have some earth gems stolen, which sucks. All right, so what do we do in this turn? We've got a little bit of raiding going on. Yeah, so we're we're attacking this fort with the horror on it. So we've got this guy. He's we've stacked defense on him and made him lucky and given him some MR gear. Maybe he can kill it. We've also got some fiends and some regular troops. We'll see how we do. Uh, coming from the future, I already know how it works out at this point, but at the time I thought that was a good plan. And let's see, I think that's most of it. We, we are getting another Tartarian. We rolled this guy who is worth doing a Gift of Reason on. And oh, and we're doing we're spamming out a cat shake record this turn, so we we should have graphs again next turn, which will be fun. So yeah, here's another one. 
And then we're getting this for corpse constructs. It's an artifact. Gives you, I think, plus a plus 10 bonus, which is insane. And we're also forging Demon Banes. And I think... Oh, I didn't save the turn after I recorded it, but... I remember I swapped these three to Amulets of Anti-Magic and took off the Star Shining Skull Cap. Just because I thought I needed more. Oh, and that, I guess that, speak of it. So this is a Screening Force. So we've just got this guy to look scary on the strategic map. Not so much if he actually gets seen. And we have a Force of Peasants because we're going to build up a new army. I think it's moving here. So we've got Mass Region, Fog Warriors, Thunderfend. Um, we, we have decent MR on a lot of this stuff, but I'm planning for the Amulets of Anti-Magic to improve it further. We've got Army of Lead in case Anti-Magic does not go off. And some Weapons of Sharpness spam. This is his kit. We've got a Petrify Caster. And in fact, we've got a couple of them that are going to go... And this, this whole army is designed around killing the Kraken, if possible. So Petrify plays part of that. Weapons of Sharpness plays a part in that. And MR and Cold Resist also plays a part in that. Additionally, we've got this thug. And we've got Frostfend to help with the, you know, any frozen heart spam the Kraken might feel like doing. And we've got Anti-Magic. And so this army is going to go here, here. This, and we're going to try and have screening forces again. And it's going to go here and then to Alluvia. Now, there is still this giant army from Yomi. Um, but I think a Throne Rush is a little less likely. Just because it looks like TNN's making some inroads. And it looks like Atlantis is making some inroads. So hopefully they don't feel like attacking me. But I think I can defend against 1500 Oni given there's only a few Dione there with what I've got here, especially given the number of super combatants and like the amount of magic I could put out. I think I could win, or I could definitely make it take a while. So I'm feeling a little bit safer, so I'm going to go ahead and strike out. And I believe that's it for this turn, so have a good one. See you in turn 115.